Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss? Where today I am so happy to share some exciting information about the future of the Star Trek brand. This news is concerning as many as three new series set in the Star Trek universe that we could be seeing in the next few years. It is no secret that Paramount has been promoting Star Trek as their premier franchise with five series set to air new material in 2022. In fact, this past week at the Television Critics Association Winter Press Tour, an executive from Paramount stated that the plan is for the franchise to be always on, with at least one series airing new content each week for the foreseeable future. This is a large commitment to this type of content, especially when you consider that the Star Trek shows that get produced now do not take up over 20 weeks of the year or more with new episodes like they used to, but instead are now produced in the 8-13 to 13 episode range. Also last week, it was confirmed the series Star Trek Picard will be ending after its upcoming third season, which is in the process of being filmed now. So this means that if Paramount wants to keep to its commitment of Star Trek being always on, then something new will have to take its place. And it looks like we may have a roadmap to what the next phase of new shows will be. But before I get into that, I wanted to thank you for clicking on this video and ask that if you enjoy the content, to please hit that like button to help support the channel. And if you want to be kept up to date on all Star Trek news as it happens, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that YouTube lets you know when my new videos come out. I know that I have not been posting as much the past few weeks as I continue to build my new studio, but I am very excited for the new level of content that I will be able to produce in 2022. The last few weeks have been very busy in the world of Star Trek, and it seemed to kick off with the release of the final trailer for the second season of Star Trek Picard, set to be released in March of 2022. In case you missed it, I did do a breakdown of that video and the upcoming season that I will leave a link to here and in the description if you would like to check it out. Then, almost a week later, it was revealed that the third season of Star Trek Picard would indeed be the last for the series. While it had long been speculated that this would be the case, this official confirmation does leave the door open now for new content to air. Last year, Alex Kurtzman, the man in the captain's chair of the Star Trek brand, made it clear on many occasions that his team of producers and writers were working on new projects. But he also stated that it would be hard to produce more than five series at a time, especially with as many as two Star Trek movies also in some state of pre-production at this time. As reported by Variety, at a panel at the Television Critics Association Winter Press Tour, both Mr. Kurtzman and the president of original scripted series at Paramount Plus, Nicole Clemens, revealed that the Michelle Yao-led Section 31 series is moving forward with its development and that some news about the show's future will be released very soon. If you are unfamiliar with this project, it has been teased to fans as far back as 2018 by Alex Kurtzman, who even convened a writer's room to start work on a pilot for the show. It would follow Michelle Yao as the Mirror Universe version of Philippa Giorgio after her adventure with the crew of the Discovery and the Guardian of Forever in the 32nd century. Given the way her character left the show, which was simply walking through a portal to an unknown destination, this series could be about her showing up at any point in history. But it sounds like Alex Kurtzman and others have had a good idea on what to do with the show and character for some time. Actress Michelle Yao, who keeps very busy and seems to show up in everything these days, has revealed in interviews that she is excited about the possibilities for the series. The actress said the following about her love for the role to Deadline and the prospect of being at the helm of a show based around the character. I am so excited to continue telling these rich Star Trek stories. Being a part of this universe and this character specifically has been such a joy for me to play. I can't wait to see where it all goes. Certainly, I believe it will go where no woman has ever gone before. Personally, I wouldn't mind a series set in the Mirror Universe, but I don't think that will be the plan for the series, especially given that her Discovery co-star, Shazad Latif, who plays the Klingon human hybrid Ash Tyler, is also attached to the project. I believe the series will take her character back to the 23rd century. Even though the USS Discovery is no longer in this time period, the Captain Pike-led USS Enterprise is, which leaves the door open for those two characters to interact again. It would also leave open the possibility for her to affect major events in that time period, which is just before the events seen on the original series. But let me know in the comments, are you excited for this new series, and what do you want to see from it? The next series rumored to be in development is another that has been whispered about the past couple of years, but has then picked up a lot of steam over the past few months. At the TCA, after Alex Kurtzman admitted to the crowd that Section 31 was the next show in line to be produced, he also said that there was another new series right behind it, and Deadline is reporting that that project he is referring to is Star Trek Starfleet Academy. Deadline is also reporting that the show is being developed by Absentia co-creator Gaia Vialo, sorry if I mispronounced that, and the hope is to get the new series going in the next year. While little is known about the project outside of this information, many believe that this series will also be set in the 32nd century, as Discovery now is, and will follow a few familiar faces. 
Star Trek has had some luck with spin-off shows, as Strange New Worlds is set to debut in May of 2022 after Anson Mount, Ethan Peck, and Rebecca Romaine appeared as the characters Captain Pike, Spock, and Number One on Discovery. Also, you could say that Star Trek Prodigy is a spin-off of Voyager, and Star Trek Picard is a spin-off of The Next Generation, as these series are based around characters from prior lore. It appears that Paramount may be using this tactic again, and could be including characters such as Admiral Charles Vance, played to much acclaim by actor Odette Fair, as well as Sylvia Tilly, played by Mary Wiseman. Fans of Discovery were surprised when Tilly left the Discovery in the show's fourth season to teach at the brand new Starfleet Academy, which also played a large role in an episode, and now we may know why. Having these two characters that fans have already expressed their admiration for starting a new series makes a lot of sense and also allows the franchise to have a new series unlike any others they are currently producing. To this point, Deep Space Nine is the only Trek series not based on a ship, so Starfleet Academy would also be showing a different perspective than the other series currently being produced, but a familiar one to fans of the series Deep Space Nine. A younger cast could also bring in a younger viewing audience, and the franchise is obviously concerned about that with the recent addition of the animated series Star Trek Prodigy to its lineup. Executive producer Akiva Goldsman has had some success with young adult series, such as the HBO Max series Titans based on younger versions of DC heroes that he co-created, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is another series that Alex Kurtzman gives him the reins to. With this news of another new show being produced, this could also mean that another one of the current shows outside of Picard could also be winding down, with many believing that season 5 may be the last season of Star Trek Discovery. But that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments if you'd like the series based around Starfleet Academy. Finally, this latest rumor is the one that I am really excited for, and it comes from one of the main producers of Star Trek right now, the aforementioned Akiva Goldsmith. While promoting the upcoming release of Star Trek Strange New Worlds, a series that he is the executive producer of, Goldsman stated that the next series he wants to make is an anthology series based on Star Trek titled Tales of the Federation. In an interview with SFX Magazine, Goldsman stated the following about his idea. I'll call it Tales of the Federation, where you would just do one-offs, right? So you could bring George Sakai back for an hour and do a show about Sulu as an older man, or find Jonathan Archer having now retired from his Enterprise and being on Earth. Just do these certain really interesting ones. Now Goldsmith has already sort of done this, as he was one of the main forces behind these short treks that came out during the first two seasons of Discovery, but while those allowed the viewer to learn about new characters or concepts, like a reimagined Harry Mudd played by Rain Wilson, or the advanced AI Zora that is now a character on Discovery, this new series would catch up with characters and show them as they are later in life. I would love to see the series play out some stories that fans have often wondered about, like what happened to Captain Benjamin Sisko and are Bashir and Garrick still in love? But this new series could also fix or add to stories that did not get the attention they deserve, such as the ending to the series Star Trek Enterprise, and Mr. Goldsman specifically calls out the character Jonathan Archer as one he would like to see. There have been a lot of Star Trek actors coming back to virtually every new series to play their beloved roles once again. So this series would be a great opportunity to bring even more back without having to fit them in to an already established cast. But let me know in the comments, would you watch a Star Trek anthology series and which stories would you love to see? Well that is all I have today, but let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?